Hey everyone, me Kevin here. Holy crap everyone, this is a freaking cluster of 50 shades of disaster crap. So here's a quick update on the very latest that's going on. There's someone in the White House spreading rumors who may be named Alyssa Farah, who apparently told some people in the press today that we've made it very clear, quote, we've made it very clear we want a skinny package. We're for direct payments and an extension of PPP, and we'd like to see an airline bailout, but not part of a larger package. Okay, Alyssa, where have you been, like, the last 48 hours? Because I'm pretty sure we went from skinny bill, like, a month ago. That's, like, two months back. Then we went to big package, to no package, to standalone package, to now back to big package. And you still stuck in August. Treasury Secretary Mnuchin then spoke with Nancy Pelosi by phone right after this comment started circulating. And according to Drew Hamill, who is the assistant of Nancy Pelosi, Drew says, quote, The speaker pointed out that unfortunately the White House communications director contradicted that assertion during their call. And this was in reference to Speaker Pelosi and Mnuchin making progress on the language for their larger stimulus bill. However, Nancy Pelosi, again according to Drew Hamill, quote, trusts that the secretary speaks for the president. AKA, forget everyone else at Donald Trump's staff, just focus on Mnuchin. And Pelosi said, hey, we're at the table, we wanna continue the conversation, we've made some progress, this is her quote, we're exchanging language. And remember this morning, Nancy Pelosi was really excited that she got some language back from Mnuchin, like a text or email, was jumping up and down over that. But let me tell you something, right now, if y'all are losing your freaking minds, you're not alone, so am I. Like, I don't even know where the pieces are anymore, so I drew a diagram, okay? This is the diagram. So, uh, in one corner of these four corners, we have the skinny proposal with stimulus and bailouts for the airlines. Because, uh, yeah, I'm sure that money will be really useful for when we kick air travel down the road three months. And then they're in the same freaking spot as they were today. Anyway, standalone stimulus bills. Then over here, we got nothing. Uh, which is the same color as something else on this board that I'll tell you about in a moment. Uh, and then we've got the big package. This is where supposedly we are. The problem with all of this crap is the last 48 hours, somebody decided to go around <laughs> Trump and go, Wee! And so now we have a big flaming pile of SHIT storm because that's what's here in the middle here. Yeah, we've literally gone dancing around all of this disaster, and it's no wonder that our heads are spinning, because this is a disaster. It's a cluster F of a disaster. Now, if there's any potential level-headed people left at the Capitol Hill, because they're all freaking children, potentially, potentially, it's the leaders of the Problem Solvers Caucus. Ah, the Problem Solvers Caucus. They were just interviewed on CNBC. Thank you, Kelly Evans. And uh, Kelly Evans asked them directly, and when I say them, I guess I should introduce them. I mean, Josh Gottheimer, he's a Democrat, and Tom Reed, a Republican. If only all interviews could be, here's the Democrat and here's the Republican. Anyway, they said that right now, each side is putting their best offer out there, and it sounds messy. But if once, quote, you get the best offers out, it's very close to getting a deal, and that means the American people win. <laughs> Whatever. Look, I've heard close for, well, since May. I'm over close. Anyway, in other news, Amtrak is demanding the swift passage of a bill warning that it'll cut 2,400 jobs if they do not pass a stimulus package, and they'll even defer major capital projects like improvements to their railways. I just wonder if that's another kick the can down the road kind of thing, though. And I feel for them. I'm about to get another Topo Chico. I'm sick of this. Uh, the White House finally sent letters to people who went to Judge Amy Barrett's confirmation hearing saying, um, Hey, um, by the way, if you went to the hearing, you might want to get tested for COVID. Yeah, they just sent that letter. Regeneron's monoclonal antibody cocktail is apparently made from fetal tissue obtained from abortions. That is, whatever's left after an abortion. Yes, yes, that is gruesome. But apparently, that is what Regeneron's monoclonal, monoclonal antibody cocktail is made out of, which is what Donald Trump alleges is what cured him. Now, take putting that thought aside... The, the antibody cocktail sounded really good, okay? Like, it'd be not, in, in fact, here, let me just put it in somebody else's words. Former FDA commissioner, Dr. Scott Gottlieb, 
says, may, quote, man-made antibodies like those Mr. Trump received may soon be rolled out for broader public use. Such treatments may be a bridge to a vaccine. Okay, I like that. Stock market likes that, which I oh, forgot to, almost forgot to mention it. Get two free stocks with Webull when you deposit $100. Link down below and get life insurance in as little as five minutes. Right next to the links for the awesome courses. Anyway, Joe Biden says that he'll let us know if he's going to add seats to the Supreme Court, known as packing the court, which let me just quickly explain that because I, I know that was confusing for me when I first heard it. Basically, because Republicans are trying to get a, a, you know, push through this nomination and confirmation for another justice, Democrats are saying, fine, we'll just add seats to the Supreme Court so Republicans have less power. That's the theory. That's why this packing the court thing keeps coming up. Anyway, Joe Biden says that he'll let us know if he's going to pack the Supreme Court after he's elected. Then when it comes to companies now threatening to lay off employees, in addition to Amtrak and well, pretty much all the airlines, we already know about Disney as well. We can now add ESPN, Marriott, MGN Resorts, Regal Cinemas, Universal Orlando, and Wynn Resorts. Holy smokers, folks. <laughs> if you want a different flair of video, by the way, I made a nice, chill, and relaxed real estate video of me walking through a fixer upper today. I even made a stock video that you could watch and they're much more chill if you like that kind of stuff. Apparently, the YouTube algorithm doesn't like that stuff as much. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry, I'm really frustrated, and this, to me, is uh, pretty accurate. Thank you so much, we'll see you next time. <laughs>